Hi guys, um, this is Binger. Thank you for tuning in. So today we are going to talk about this new balance that I recently acquired. This is a running shoe. As you know, I returned to running in October. So I have been running using my Skechers Go Run, which I think is already a year old now. So I can feel that it's already getting worn out. I got this new New Balance uh, Fuel Cell Echo. And this is a New York City Marathon Edition, so 2019 Marathon Edition. Let's unbox and check the features of this New Balance uh, shoe that I have. Let's see what's inside. Let's open the box and see what we got. Okay, so fearlessly independent since 1906, so New Balance. So by the way guys, this is the very first New Balance shoe that I own. I have been running using my very first shoe was basically a Nike and then the rest are mostly pure running shoes and I stayed for Mizuno for quite a long time so Mizuno I had A6, Soconi also had um, these are the new balance shoes so let's take a look what's inside Okay, so guys, these are the, the or what's this edition? So this is the, if you look at this one, this, this, they say this is very special. So this is a very nice shoe, by the way. Put this here. Let's get to the exciting part. Now, first, the look. It's, it looks like a very strong, not a flat shoe, but it's, it looks very strong because of the grids here at the bottom. Um, you know, the, the sole here. There are grids like like a trail running shoe. The, the first thing I did notice in this shoe is that it's almost the same as the, the Nike version. And same as the Adidas Boost Edition. Because it, it has this cool mesh. So this is, this is actually like the flyknit of Nike. So that's the reason why, because um, for a running shoe, well, I actually the first thing that I look is the comfortability. So regardless whether it's um, a short, a long distance running shoe, but uh, first I, I look at the comfortability. I had a very wide uh, foot, so that's why I'm actually looking for something like this, which is uh, stretchable. Okay, so it's made of a very nice mesh, stretchable mesh like this. And these are actually almost unibody and then the the rubber that extends from the you know going to the toe is a single rubber if you look at it it's a single rubber sole that actually covers the entire bottom of the feet okay so let me show you the the cage this is the um, heel cap basically it protects your Achilles for a runner, it's also important because it, it actually does the stopping, you know, it, it stops your feet from wiggling. Mostly, if we lean forward, the foot will go, the shoe or the entire foot will, you know, move from here to the front. But if it's actually lean backward, definitely someone needs to stop it here. And this is what is doing it. It's a very nice, um, sturdy plastic that they put in here. It's also bluish violet when actually um, light hits it. And then this stretchable actually keeps you a nice fit entirely. It actually um, hogs your, your entire food. So if you're running, it really doesn't feel that your feet is actually uncomfortable. Okay. Alright, so yeah. I did test run this shoes yesterday and uh, um, honestly I clocked 26 minutes and you know 40 seconds for a 5 kilometer run and, and, and so far the fastest. I, I'm not a, a total sprinter but I can say that you know the, the shoes definitely helps when you're running. Normally uh, I use a stability shoes 
and uh, for this one I know this isn't a uh, stability shoe like the Mizuno Inspire Edition. So um, my, my main shoe for running marathons before is the, the Mizuno Inspire Edition. So this is the very first time that I will own um, a shoe something like this. Oh, also, by the way, if you look at the design of uh, this part, let's take a look. But you'll actually notice that um, it's a special shoe because it has NYC, NYC um, in this grids. So you'll see NYC, NYC. And aside from this, the one that I was actually pointing a while ago, this one says TCS New York City Marathon. So this is a special edition. This is, they use this for the, the New York City uh, Marathon 2019. Even in the the, the Inside says NYC, NYRR, or the New York Road Runners. This actually costs around uh, 5495 But if you are a BPI card owner, so whether it's a debit or a credit, you'll get a 20% discount. I actually was able to, to get this shoe for only 4395 So I, I think it's close to so say 4000 so it's, it's almost 1,090 or 1,100 pesos of discount that um, I was able to get. So, all right. So for my fellow runners, I, I definitely recommend this. Or for newbie runners, for the ones that are actually um, starting to run, this is very good shoe. This is very flexible. If you can see my Inspire, I can't hold it like that. This, but this one really gives you uh, the feel of. You know, bouncy running. So you look at the way it pushes your foot forward, and there are grids that are stopping it. And then, if you um, if you're stride, or if you're actually running on asphalt or on a slippy, yeah, cement, this actually gives you a, a very nice grip on the ground. So that's it. I, I'll show you when I was actually running and and using this. Um, the very first five kilometers of this is very special because um, I, I never, I think I was able to clock before 26, but I'm actually aiming for five minute per kilometer run. So I think this shoe will help me achieve that. So I think um, you may visit the, the New Balance store at Bunibasho Global City to, to look at this. There's also a variety of colors for uh, a shoes like this. Um, there's white, combination of colors, uh, there are other versions that I, you can actually get. So uh, I am very excited to, to use this uh, running shoe as, as my training shoe. Uh, I don't know, I, I haven't been preparing for a long distance running. I've been running for 5-10 kilometers recently. I think this really helps me a lot. I'm not into details much of these shoes, but actually I can talk about some more. Um, I, I love this stitches here that New Balance placed. These part of the shoes are actually the ones that get worn out easily. For example, with uh, your toe here and your the other the fingers of your foot, these are the ones that usually get worn out and sometimes it gets um, just a hole on this one on this part. So, it's a very good design that they place some some stitches on here. Okay, but actually, I, I want to talk about also one thing that I noticed here that there's only one thing, one basically flaw that probably most runners also uh, complain about this shoe. Aside, aside from over, overall, it's really nice. It's one of the best shoes that I had, and, uh, but. This part, this area here, uh, for the heel counter, um, this connection of stitches here actually makes contact on your upper Achilles, and it 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 is quite irritating because you can feel that it isn't smooth. So both of these, even the other designs, 
the personnel at, at New Balance actually the salesman said that these are the most mostly noticeable flaw of the shoe they should have made made this even better or probably covered it with um, something that will not you know, something will cover it so basically that is only it I'll be running more with this uh, shoe and I'll provide a performance uh, feedback but I, I really love the design uh, well the performance very soon um, I'm not sure how long would it take or how many kilometers will it uh, actually burn the design that I've been telling you so New, New Balance New York Roadrunners NYC NYC this, this is again 5495 if you get it regular price but if you have a BPI debit you'll get it 1000 pesos off so around 4399 if you haven't subscribed to my channel and if you like this video uh, you may want to subscribe thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe I hope to see you more on in the next video. So again, this is Winter signing off. Bye.